Hey guys, what's up? It's and and today I'm gonna try and teach you how to make a decent middle texture. So basically, all you have to do is be yourself. Don't let anyone tell you up in that. Okay. Um. So pretty much, you need Photoshop or GIMP. I'm using Photoshop because I got the trial thing, but it's probably gonna run out in like 30 days something, which kind of sucks. But whatever. So um. What you want to do is create a new layer, um, and this is for a gun I'm making. Uh, this bit right here, and um, pretty much, I mean, oh man, okay, this, <laughs> I'll just start. So, anyway, first of all, you want to make sure the brush tool. Uh, close that. Make sure the brush tool and set the size to whatever. It's pretty big actually. And make a kind of darker texture, color, and just go over it. Click this, turn on multiply, and you can do this until it's at the right darkness. So I think a bit more dark. Yeah. Or you can set it to full black. And just turn on the opacity. So look. Sorry, actually, right there. Okay. So I've created a new layer, and now I'm going to add the scratches. So to do this, you'll need to change the size to zero. I mean one. Set the height to 100, and pick. Uh, you can use this, or just any tool apart from, which has like spread out kind of. So then you just want to turn your color white and just start getting kind of those these tails. I'm listening to music, so if I kind of say some dumb stuff, then I'm sorry. <laughs> If you have a mirror modifier or mirrored UV map, this is only for 3D, um, then you'll want to put scratches on the edge, but not on the side where it meets. So it can give it more of a bit of fit. Oh, jeez. Um, now, create a new layer. And get the one of these tools. And just um jeez. Just a little scratches to the corners. And turn on the opacity. And then you want to get the eraser and try and uh, kind of shape out the scratches a bit more. Yeah. And also try and use those like un. Uh, kind of over the top scratches as well. So, yeah. Right here. There. So those are the side scratches. Oops. Oh god, I haven't had it. Now, the gradients. Create a new layer. And... Um... Select the area again. Now you set gradient, make a gradient, um, however you want, and depending on how the modeling, the model works, um, you can make the gradient, you know, face that way if that makes sense. Um, set multiplier, and turn on the opacity. 
Now I'm gonna change this a bit. Change the color. I'm gonna change it to white. Do that again. Yeah, nice. So that's that. Now we're gonna add some more kind of life to it. So create a brush and make like a dark orange and um just find the sort of Um, brush, and then just turn it up, pass it. Let's add little dabs. But, if you're using a 3D model, and you've got the mirror, this probably won't look as good. Does that make sense? So if I export it and look at. Ah. Look. Ah. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So you can clearly see it kind of goes to some realistic kind of um texturing like this was really good and um yeah I mean if you guys that's pretty I mean that's pretty much it you can add more if you want but I try and keep it minimal so yeah if you guys found this useful then you know subscribe and if you found it uh awesome then you can comment and if you need help you can also comment and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and uh, yeah. peace out right